Hello folks, I would like to welcome you to our new lab. Cool new bench, cool new stuff. And would also like to introduce you to a new uh, inverter that we have built here. This is yet another one of the horrible Anova inverters that simply will not leave me alone. Uh, so much so that I went off and designed another logic board uh, to run this, but this one uh, uses its own driver board and power stage. Uh, details of this board uh, will be on my GitHub as with all of my other designs. And I've designed this uh, primarily for use with the Anova motor that we'll be putting in our E65. But I additionally included on this board Johannes's design for his resolver interface. And in order to test that, I have connected it to my BMW i3 motor, which you can see here. And powering this whole crazy contraption, we have pretty much discharged a uh, Toyota Prius battery. Uh, it's currently sitting at just over 180 volts, which is pretty much discharged uh, for one of these packs. Uh, because I've been doing some charging tests with our Prius inverter charger project, but more on that later. So, in the meantime, uh, let's give this baby some throttle and uh, see what our i3 motor uh, wants to do. So, got a rather sketchy... Um, three-phase cabling setup. We have our resolver uh, connected back to the main board just with some screened cable. And uh, I'm going to bring you guys in here and I'm going to advance the throttle pedal. So we can, we have torque from the absolute dead stop with this thing. It'll bend spanners and I can ex simply accelerate Our battery is kind of down to about 175 volts at the minute. And we can rev up. I think I have F Max set for 100 hertz, so that's uh, probably not even a thousand revs because this is a six pole machine. Uh, we're drawing 2.5 amps. And our Prius battery is at about 175 volts. And we can regen uh, right back to a stop. And accelerate. Right up to full throttle there now. In full torque control mode, about two amps. I'm going to regen us back down because I don't want to completely destroy my poor Prius pack. So, this is our Anova inverter um, at the minute running our i3 uh, permanent magnet motor using Johannes' um, resolver interface that I have to say is working extremely well in this particular case. Alrighty, time for part two. Considering our poor Prius battery here um, gave us st such sterling service uh, driving the i3 motor, I thought, well, why don't we put some charge into it? And as you can see right here, we've got about 1.7 amps uh, going into it, and we're at 219, uh, coming up on 220 volts. Now, but how are we charging it, Damien, I hear you ask, and what is that high-pitched whine? Well, the high-pitched whine that you hear is a PWM of 8 kilohertz 
and 30% duty cycle uh, being generated by an analog discovery board which is just hidden in there behind the back. It's a 5 volt TTL waveform wave uh, that has been fed into this little card here which is a oh, MC14504 TTL to CMOS converter. It's coming out of that as a 10 volt uh, peak uh, CMOS waveform, uh, which we can see on our old silly scope here with a little bit of spiking going on. Let me see if I can get it to uh, play ball for me here. Really, guys? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, some nasty little peaks going on there but anyway who cares because that is coming out of our converter here and has been fed into the CPWM wire here uh, of the Gen 2 Prius boost converter it's currently working in buck mode uh, we are feeding it from this Variac, which is turned up to 100% here. Uh, so we're feeding full 230 volts, 50 hertz mains through our torture device uh, crocodile clips here into two of the three phases that would normally connect to the MG1 motor in a Toyota Prius. Uh, currently, the bus voltage is sitting at just a little over 315 volts. We're running at 30% uh, PWM presently, as I say. So the AC mains is basically coming directly into the MG1 uh, stator connections, is being rectified by the MG1 inverter diodes, smoothed by our trusty Panasonic uh, capacitor, being fed to the buck boost converter stage, and is being bucked down uh, to 222 volts at the minute and that's been fed into our Prius battery. What if we change the PWM duty cycle Damien? I hear you ask. Well, so what I'm going to do is go in here I'm going to type in 29% and I'm going to put you guys down here on the ammeter and I'm going to press enter. Oh look, the current has increased and our voltage will of course increase as well because uh, we're pushing a little bit more current in. So, in buck mode our Prius inverter will buck less for less PWM so it will give you more output um, for less PWM duty. Uh, I haven't messed with the boosting function yet um, for what we're trying to do here because uh, what I'm trying to do here is I'm just trying to charge a battery and prove that we can make a battery charger um, or at least use part of a Toyota Prius inverter as a battery charger and it seems indeed that we can. Now another fun pack thing that you could do here is if you had three phase AC mains available you could feed three phase into the MG1 um, stator terminals and then you would have uh, probably the ability to do a lot more power uh, than from plain Jane single phase because the thing you have to remember here is that we're not uh, correcting the power factor we're just basically rectifying the mains smoothing it with a cap and then feeding it into a buck stage um, converter. Now, so this will charge any battery of less than about 300 volts, probably 250 to be practical. Uh, if you wanted to charge a battery of higher than 300 volts, we would rewire this to work in boost mode. We could then boost our, you know, 300 volt uh, DC bus um, up to a higher voltage like say 400 volts if I wanted to charge a 400 volt pack for say the Panzer or um, another AC 
uh, based vehicle. Um, now this is a liquid cooled inverter converter unit. I don't have any liquid cooling running through it at, it at the minute. Um, so I'm not really doing uh, too much power here, but we're at kind of gone down to one amp there now on the battery. So I'll do one more PWM change. Let me go up to 28% for you guys there, and I'll just drop onto this. And we're back up to about 1.7 amps there now, and about 226 volts on the um, on the. Uh, the battery. Now, I'm not sure what the switching frequency is supposed to be. When I was on the live stream last, uh, there seemed to be some questions about what the what the best with switching frequency to use. I'm running it at 8 kilohertz in this little setup here at the minute, um, just because it's a frequency that I find most IGBTs and that are happy with. Maybe too high, maybe too low for uh, what we're trying to do here. Um, also, I need to relearn how to charge nickel metal hydride batteries uh, because I have forgotten. I worked with them about 20 years ago, uh, but I've since forgotten all of the little tricks about how to charge them. Uh, so we're only putting a little trickle charge in here at the minute uh, just so we can prove that this idea here to use the Prius inverter as the basis of a high power battery charger actually doesn't just blow up when I first turn the thing on. And considering the rat's nest of wires that I have going on there as well, um, you know, and all the interference that would be going on, it's quite impressive that nothing has gone pop as yet. So folks, uh, that's about it for this little, I don't know, let's call it a lab, a, a, a lab, oh, the, let's call me getting a decent vo voice box. Let's call it a lab update, uh, so I'm kind of ripping off some of Johannes's um, phrases there. Uh, so this is a bit of a lab update, we have our new lab out in the shed now, which lets me mess about with things like the batteries and the uh, inverters in one area and I don't have to worry about you know, tripping out circuit breakers in the main house because that never happens obviously when you're a professional like me. Remember folks I do these dangerous high voltage experiments so you don't have to. Now with that out of the way I will wrap this up by saying uh, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Check those links in the description for Patreon and PayPal in case you want to give me some money so I can buy some more Prius parts and play with them. That doesn't... Yeah. No, no, don't do that. Anyway, also there will be a link in the description for my GitHub where you can download uh, my designs. For ex example, the Enova um, driver board that I was showing you at you earlier with the resolver interface that is currently running the BMW i3 motor and it will be available under other terms and conditions apply. Oh yes, and we will be also uh, trying to run the Prius transaxle. We have a Prius transaxle. I, I didn't show you the Prius transaxle, did I? Okay. Don't worry about that for now. Uh, that'll be in the next video. Um, until then, Happy book boost converting.